Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Lana. Um, I just had to say something about what happened tonight on Love and Hip Hop. I really don't see what the big deal is about Chrissy beating the hell out of Kim Bolly. Um, I would have done the same damn thing had it been one of my friends that don't speak up for themselves. Um, I saw it, saw it last week and tweeted about it like everybody else. And I kept telling everybody that Chrissy reminded me of me. Um, my whole thing was, what was the purpose in even saying that you dated fab? You know what I'm saying? Clearly, M is leaving him. It's a done deal. It's over and she's celebrating. What is your purpose? I would have knocked the shit out of her too. And I probably wouldn't stop. But then I have an anger disorder. But that's just me. I don't like females that sit near patting themselves on the back for being basically a sideline hoe. There was a reason you didn't know about her. And anybody that knows me and knows about the relationship me and my fiance have and our past knows and no, I'm not wearing the ring today. I was tired last night and it got on my nerves. I took it off, which I do a lot <laughs> when it comes time for bed and I haven't slept. But, um, you know, there were a lot of females where I was like, I wasn't fighting over him. I was fighting over my respect. Because growing up in Oakland, I was taught, you never fight over a dude. Because he going to be with who he want to be with. But if a female going to disrespect you, then you got to take matters to your own hands. And yes, I've been in many a fight over my friends that don't speak up for themselves. And I don't see, I mean, I understand where, you know, Chrissy felt bad. That show, you know, you, I mean, I would feel bad being the age I am now, having had a fight since my son, or let me take that back. Having really shown out since my son was born. You know, it's like, there's a place to do anything. Why would you pick the time for my I'm over you party and I'm celebrating and we drinking, being happy, and you want to come out with, oh, by the way, I fucked your man. You don't do that. There are some things you do and some things you don't do. And that's just one of the things you don't do. That was something that you take to the grave with you. Talking about she had to do it. No, actually, you didn't have to do it. You, it was, there was no purpose in that. I don't think Chrissy was wrong at all. Everybody saying she was drunk, she was out of line, she was this, bada, bada, bada. No, I don't think that. I think Kimbala was completely wrong. And it was just completely uncalled for for her to come out and even open her damn mouth. She should have just chilled in the cut and, you know, just been happy to be in America, basically. You know what I'm saying? Um, females kill me with that. Well, I just want to let you know. Maybe I don't want to know. Maybe there's no need for me to know, especially after the fact. You know what I'm saying? It's over. It's done. He not tripping off you. Apparently, you tripping off of him. Who does that? I don't know. I don't get it. Don't understand. Never will. But I think it was just completely uncalled for. And it was a sideline whole move. That's my feeling on it. I mean, y'all might feel different. Do I care? No, you know, um, I'm not a ghetto chick, far from, but like my mama used to say, I can get ghetto and really don't care how it's viewed. It is what it is. What happens, happens, you know, but like I've said before, I don't let nobody dog my friends. 
and Chrissy, no, it didn't have nothing to do with Chrissy. But, you know, M is her girl. And apparently she cared for her girl and her girl. I mean, what do you say to that? You like, okay, I'm done with him. It's over. He hasn't acknowledged me as his woman. And uh, we've been together X amount of years. And I got his baby and all this other stuff. And I'm throwing a party. And I want to get over. And you got this heifer talking about, oh, yeah, um, while you were pregnant, um, me and him were together. And we were doing this, that, and other. Who does that? That had zero class. What? Did you want a cookie? Were you supposed to throw a party because you came clean? You know what? You a hot. Straight up. You get no love for that. And I think Chrissy did what needed to be done. Now, I think everybody kind of slipped because my friends know when I'm angry and I say I'm cool. Let me go get, let, let me just go get some air. Let me do this. Let me do that. They know. I'm not done with it. They know something's going to go down. Straight up. I mean, I've gotten sick and maybe a little slow. And I'll admit that. But, when your girl get mad, sickness, MS, whatever the hell, go straight up out the door and it's on and cracking. I mean, I have been basically bedridden and got pissed off and can magically walk. So, can't nobody tell me what a person does when they get mad. You forget all of that. It's just you mad. And Kambala should have shut the hell up. There's no need for you to explain. There's nothing to explain. It was just something that shouldn't have been said. And then for you to say it has nothing to do with her, you made it about her when you made the announcement. When you felt that you should have got kudos and all oh, that's a good point and you go girl and you know whatever the hell she was expecting to get. You know, you made it about her. Because with me and my friends, especially a friend that I'm thinking of right now and she knows who she is. I will whoop some ass over her. For real. And I don't play that. Especially if I know that you're really nice and you don't really fight and you take a lot of crap. Mm -mm. I don't go that, that route. I wasn't raised that way. You know, yeah, I live in Vegas, but I have forgot the town. I will never forget Oakland, where I came from. No, I will not move back because I love my son and things are too crazy out there. But, you know, bump that. I don't see Chrissy did anything wrong. And for her to be told to apologize, hell no. Nah, because I wouldn't apologize, straight up. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I know y'all going to be down there uh, loving or hating it. And I am going to let the comments ride. I am going to let y'all like or dislike. Once again, I don't care. But, you know, it is what it is. I wouldn't apologize. But that's just me. To get, even my best friend will tell you. To get an apology from me is few and far between. And me and her have had fights to where we don't talk for years on end. And then one of us called each other and it's just, what you doing? You okay? Okay. But something like that, nah. I wouldn't apologize. Um, Not even on the slide. We couldn't even be friends after that. Because that was some hurtful stuff. I don't care if you do claim to be over that person. There is a piece of you, especially when a baby is involved and you put so much time and energy into that person. Get from behind me. Um, it, it's a part of you where it still hurts. Plain as if it gets to you. Even if it's this much, it still gets to you because it's like, wow.
You know, especially when you find out they were cheating on you while you was pregnant. Nah, that's not cool. And for Kim Baller to come, I'm, oh yeah, by the way, you know, while you were pregnant, you know, three years ago, me and Fab dated. Uh, no, you didn't. You were just a jump off. You were a trick. Straight up. Um, you were basically nothing. Okay, at all, plain and simple. Um, people can say what they will or may, but that's the beginning, the middle, and end of it. So, y'all can comment on this, y'all can like or dislike, but that's the way it is, that's the way it's gonna be. That's me forever and always, and y'all know I don't play. So, there you go.